All new at 10, teachers cut. School districts all over Green Country are feeling the pinch after statewide budget cuts. Now some districts are forced to take action and cut positions. 2 News reporter Brianne Palmerini is live in Jinx tonight with the latest. Well, you may have noticed a lot of activity like at districts like Jinx across the summer, but projects like this construction project here are being funded with bond money, which means those dollars can't be used to pay for teacher salaries, and the district is still facing some serious budget battles. We will feel it in the classroom. Um, we have 200 elementary classrooms um, that have enrollment higher than what they should have. Until now, Jenks hasn't had to cut teaching positions because of budget cuts. Now they're losing 19 jobs in addition to 20 support staff positions. We can't afford to hire any more teachers. So, and, and that goes back to the state not giving us the money that we need. Last year at budget time, BA public schools cut 52 teaching positions. This year, they won't be cutting any. It's just a difference in philosophy. We chose to do all the cuts in one year instead of spreading it out over two-year time. Most of the districts aren't having layoffs. They're just not filling open positions. Mostly they were all uh, through the through attrition where a person said they're going to retire so we wouldn't replace them and we may move people around within their within uh, campuses. But that doesn't mean it won't affect learning in the classroom. We're very fearful that with higher class sizes and higher expectations for our students to perform to be college and career ready, we're really going to be taxing our, our teachers and our students. Union Schools is anticipating cutting a total of 90 positions. Officials there aren't sure yet how many will be teachers since the state has not finalized the budget allocations. We're going into the beginning of school without knowing what our real budget and how those monies will be allocated. Uh, so we are really more in the dark than we've ever been. Dr. Burden says it's a double whammy for state districts because not only are they losing federal stimulus funds this year, they're also losing state funds. The legislature made an intentional decision not to fund education at the level that it had money to fund it this year. Now, Tulsa Public Schools does not anticipate cutting any teacher positions this year. That's because they're implementing Project Schoolhouse. Live in Jenks, Brianne Pomerini, 2 News works for you.